Hello and welcome to another episode of What Travis Says. My name is Travis and let's talk about Doctor Who. More specifically, Season 12, Episode 3, Orphan 55. And I'm going to do the same thing that I've done in the last two episodes where I target one specific big question that I have about the episode. So, if you've not yet watched Orphan 55, do not watch this video any farther because we will be talking about some spoilers. I'll be honest though, after my first viewing of Orphan 55, I was unsure about any questions that I might have about the episode. It was a pretty self-contained story. It was pretty straightforward. Yeah, the ending of the episode was a bit divisive among fans, but that's just not very interesting for me to talk about. I would like to talk about something interesting about the episode, something, a question that I have, a big oh moment, and I didn't have one. After the first viewing, that is. So on Tuesday, I watched Orphan 55 again, knowing what was going to happen, watching for any clues, any hints about something that might happen in the future, and yet again, I got nothing. There was, there was not really any big question that I was left with. Because Spyfall Part 1 and 2 set up this whole Gallifrey is now destroyed storyline and the Doctor needs to fix things, needs to figure out what the Time Lords of old were hiding, what, what the Timeless Child is. There were just so many questions from Spyfall 1 and 2 and not really any questions from Orphan 55. So, why the disconnect? So then when I rewatched the episode again for a third time last night, I went in with that mindset, why is there a disconnect? How is this going to fit in to the storyline at large? How is Orphan 55 progressing the story at all? And then while watching Orphan 55 for the third time, I think I'm actually onto something. At the end of Spyfall Part 2, the Doctor has these crazy revelations about the Master, about Gallifrey, about the Time Lords, and doesn't really know what to do with these. Her companions, on the other hand, feel like the Doctor has left a gigantic part of her life out of conversation. They feel like they don't really even know who the Doctor is. They finally get a few answers, but, uh, very few, very few answers. The Doctor is still very much keeping her past a secret by accident or by intention from her companions. So they still have a lot of questions and I'm not sure that they 100% trust the Doctor. After their interactions with the Master, Graham grills the Doctor on who exactly she is, just any information at all, and she lets a little bit out, but it pales in comparison to what the Master had offered to show Graham. When the Master was pretending to be O, he offered to show Graham files and files on the Doctor, everything that he had gathered up together in order to learn more about the Doctor. Now, obviously, the Master knows way more about the Doctor than he was letting on, but I'm sure he still has a gigantic encyclopedia library compendium filled with information about his fellow Time Lord. And O's files on the Doctor are in his cabin, which ended up being the Master's TARDIS. A TARDIS that we have no idea where it even is. So already in episode two, they were sowing the seeds of mistrust for the Doctor. And then in Orphan 55, they took it a step further. At the very beginning of Orphan 55, Team TARDIS arrives at the Tranquility Spa and sort of each goes their separate way, leaving the Doctor. Nobody really cares to hang out with the Doctor. They just get to a new place and they're like, all right, peace out, I'm gonna do this other thing. And the Doctor's like, all right, I'll explore by myself. It's as if they feel like they need some time away to relax without having the Doctor right there because, uh, they just went through a lot. And at the end of Orphan 55, the Doctor decides to leave Bella and Kane to fight the Dregs, a fight which they were probably not going to win. And that did not sit well with Ryan. Coupled with the fact that Yaz even asked the Doctor, when did you figure out that this was Earth? Thinking that the Doctor had already known that it was Earth well beforehand. Graham and crew do not know anything about the Doctor's past, Ryan doesn't agree with the Doctor leaving people behind to do their fighting, 
and Yaz is unsure about the doctor's trustworthiness. When I first watched the episode Orphan 55, I thought that it was such a well-contained story that I didn't really have any questions going forward, except how does this progress the story? But it does take steps forward in that the companions are starting to not completely trust the doctor. The companions don't really agree with the doctor's methodology. The doctor is looked at as someone who isn't being entirely honest on purpose, which may possibly turn some of Team TARDIS against the Doctor in some way. Maybe in a future episode, one of the companions will side with the villain, believing that the villain has the best idea and that the Doctor shouldn't be a danger out there doing whatever she wants willy-nilly. Or that the Timeless Child revelation will come out and that will be the final nail in the coffin for the companions to not trust the Doctor, even if it's something that's entirely not her fault. I do feel like Orphan 55 is further progressing this feeling of maybe the Doctor shouldn't be trusted. Maybe the Doctor isn't entirely safe. Maybe the Doctor doesn't really have my best interests at heart. Maybe the Doctor will just leave me if I become a burden or a problem. Or it could even go to the extreme of helping a villain try to take care of putting the Doctor away. So in the comments down below, let me know, do you think that Team TARDIS is having a hard time trusting the Doctor? And do you think that this is going to be a storyline progressing further? Do you think that this is going to have something to do with future episodes? Do you think that there's going to be this divide? Or am I just looking into something that's nothing after watching an episode three times in five days. Well, that's it for this episode of What Travis Says. My name is Travis. Thank you for listening to what I have to say, and you will see me soon.